Hi guys, today we're going to show you how easy it is to use Google Hangouts. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get on to Google and then go to Google Plus, so I'll show you how to do that. First thing you want to do is you're going to want to launch your Hangout. Now that's easy to do because up here is Plus in your name. You hit that. That will bring you to Google Plus and that's where Hangouts lives. Now obviously there's the button bar over here on the left hand side and, and if you'll notice, none of them say Hangouts. Well they've hidden it under More. So if you mouse over more, you'll be able to bring up the Hangouts, and as soon as you hit it, it will launch the interface for Hangouts, and since you're the one that's going to actually be hosting it, you hit Start Hangout. Now what's great about this platform is that all of your connections on Google Plus will appear. So what you do is you just go down and you find the person that you want to interface with. In this case, we're looking for Hector. There he is. Bink. And we hit that, and then you say Hangout, and then what that will do is that will start the interface. You can also invite more people as you go along by adding on more uh, of your friends. But right now let's go to the other side of the equation to show you how to actually accept the invitation and log on. Here we are in my office and I'm getting ready to do a hangout with Carl so we can meet for a one-to-one. -one. I'm in my email program right now and I'm going to switch over to Google Plus and I should see an invitation and there's the invitation. So all I have to do now is click on the hangout Hangout should open in a short, really short period of time. We should be connected and seeing each other. And I'll do join. And once the join, yeah. there he is. But now we're connected and we can talk to each other. Let me turn on my speaker so I can hear you. Yes. The other thing too, okay. Uh, just to let everybody know, uh, you've got speaker control on this. You've also got your microphone control on top. Because sometimes when you're using uh, Hangouts, what happens is you might get a little echo because you're picking up somebody microphone. else's microphone. So what I tell people at that point is Hammer. just to hit the little button to mute their microphone. It's right on top of the page. Tucker will show you where it is. Okay, here, it's up here. It's the microphone button. You just highlight it and you can mute it. And then you got the, the camera. You can control it there. And other, other settings if you needed to do it, work with any of those things. And you can put like up to 10 people on the uh, Hangout itself. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and it's a two-way conversation. Anything more than that, then you use what's called Hangouts on Air, which is another option where you can broadcast it out to the world at large. Notice on here that you also have chat, invite, share screen. We'll click on screen share, and when I do a screen share, I can actually share different kinds of things. So I have to decide what I want to share, so uh, let's say I share that. So now, when you look over here, this is what's being shared. So you can open up the screen and see whatever you want and show things like brochures or play a movie for that matter if you wanted to. I mean, it really doesn't matter what it is. If I clicked on this little movie here, it's going to play and you should still see it. <laughs> but it works pretty well. I mean, if you have a decent connection, everything works pretty well. You could shoot a little intro video and show them the video during the Hangout. So it's, it's the next best thing to being there. If you want to go back to seeing each other's faces, you just click on screen share again and it turns that off. Yeah, and you can also choose whose face shows on the screen by just clicking on it as well. Right. Say you're talking about something and you say, oh, you know, I need to have David's information on that. Then you just go over here and click on invite and invite David. You know, if you have to show somebody a video, you click on YouTube, go to the video. If you have some documents out there in Google Docs or Google Drive, you click on that. Now you have access to that. Okay. Very, very powerful. And what's really neat about it, absolutely free. All right, gang, that's uh, basically the ABCs of how to use Google Hangouts. As I said, we're going to be using it as a one-to-one -one facility for the club. But feel free to use it in any of your business activities because obviously it's quite an asset.